Hello and welcome to Arctos Den. So today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make a self-powered oxygen module, or SPOM for short. Uh, so this can actually be done pretty early on in game. It doesn't require too much as far as materials. Uh, but let's head to the research tab just to show you what we need. Uh, obviously, the first thing we need first and foremost is electrolyzer. So you're going to have to research air systems here. Uh, the next thing we want is uh, improved ventilation, and we need this for the Atmo sensor. Uh, so this is absolutely essential to have this design work, as well as the advanced power uh, regulation, which is up here. Um, now, for optional systems, I like to also do the sound amplifiers for the smart battery. Um, we're also going to do brute force ref refinement. We do need that one to produce the refined metal um, for the Atmo sensor, among other things. Uh, temperature modulation, which is somewhere down here, I believe. Temperature modulation. HVAC, we need that for the gas reservoir. Um, we're going to do improved plumbing. I already mentioned, may have mentioned that for the liquid reservoir. And then finally, we need Smart Home for the automation wire. And I believe that is it for things we need to make this work. So let's get going here. So I will usually start on the left side of the base, and I'll explain why that I do that in a moment. But for now, let's just make a nice little platform here out of insulated tile. Uh, so this first room I'm going to make is about this big, uh, three tile wide, right below there. Let's leave this open for now. Um, we're going to go back up here, another three tile height for the room. We're going to do that. We're going to use an airflow tile here. You will also need to research that. I did forget to mention. Just create a little room here and one there. Now you're going to take your manual air locks, put a door there, a door there, and a door there. Now, we have our electrolyzer. I'm going to pop you right there. Let's go grab our gas pumps. We're going to put one here and one here. Now, the original design only called for one gas pump in this bottom room, but it only produces 500 grams a second of oxygen, and the electrolyzer can actually produce 888. So I usually do two gas pumps. Now, this will only work if you do a, um, basically have a shutoff for when your battery is full, otherwise you will waste your hydrogen and won't be able to generate the electricity from it. It'll just be, just be gone. Uh, so we're going to place a gas bridge there, just to kind of merge these seamlessly. And that's going to be our oxygen production. Uh, so first, now we're going to put down a smart battery right here. Then we're going to have two hydrogen generators right next to each other. Next, let's make a platform. We can probably... You can just make these tiles out of regular tiles. That's not a problem. Um, but back to this, we're going to put down a gas reservoir here, a liquid reservoir here, uh, a manual generator here, and that should be that for that. Uh, auto Atmo sensors. We need one here and one here. Now these, as I mentioned, are absolutely essential. Connect them with automation wire. And we're also going to connect that there too. Um, so, moving on. Let's get our water system going. We're going to place a little pump there. Get you coming up here. Right there. Bridge there. 
So this is akin to a blow-off valve, so that when this reservoir is full, the hydrogen gas will back up right there, and the overflow will come down and go to the sec second hydrogen generator, which does not have automation wire. Um, you, you don't have to have the second hydrogen generator. It is not there to make the system work. It is just there to dispose of the excess hydrogen. If you do not dispose of excess hydrogen, it will back up into the system. This room will overpressurize, and hydrogen will start forcing down into this lower chamber and get pumped out into your base. Um, very important to make sure that works. Moving on. So we have our input for the hydrogen, and there we go. So, let's unpause it. Let's get our duplicates powering the system up. We're at 20. It'll activate at 20. It's pumping all the... Oh, I almost forgot. We have to set our pressure. So our Atmo sensor should be set to activate at above 250 grams. The lower chamber should activate above 750 grams. So let's get those stopped. Alright, so we've got water in the system, but it's not... Ah, that's because I'm not the smartest player in the box. So let's destroy that one and that one. So now we actually have things running appropriately. Let's mop these up because I hate a mess. I don't want more cool down here either. Alright, so this electrolyzer is produced in oxygen and hydrogen. And if we look over here, we can see this pump pumping out everything in this chamber. Now, the reason that I built this up here to the left with the hydrogen chamber to the left is because of game mechanics. The game prefers hydrogen to go up and to the left for some reason. Just It's just where it goes. Um, so, we're taking advantage of this. The fact that gases cannot, two gases cannot occupy the same tile uh, means that this system works. Basically, hydrogen comes up, has priority over oxygen as the top gas, and it goes right into this little spot, uh, space right here. This gas pump will pull when the pressure is high, so as the hydrogen comes up here, builds up, the pressure goes up, activates the gas pump, which sucks out the hydrogen. Now, it's only going to be able to pull hydrogen from here, so it's only hydrogen down here as long as this door stays closed. So let's just make sure no one comes in here to get a breath of air. And so now we see, if we disable this little hamster wheel, we start seeing our power system decrease. It will activate the system at 20%, and we'll start seeing this hydrogen generator come in. Yep, it's going to use up that oxygen. Don't worry so much about that. You, you can have a duplicate come and repair it. Just make sure it's still accessible. I wouldn't recommend putting it inside this room, but you could put it you know, in a larger room, whatever, with this entire system. Alright, so you'll see that we've generated some power. It's going through, it's using it up again. And then that will activate once we get low. moment. There we go. Right. So, burning through all the gas. And it looks like all that's left is hydrogen in this system. So, there you have it, folks. This will actually generate enough power to keep everything going, including the second pump. And we'll never need to run on the manual generator again. So, thank you, Boston, for repairing that. In the meantime, this has been Arcto, and I've just taught you how to produce a self-powered oxygen module. Stay tuned for more tutorials, and I hope to see you again. Make sure to check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Arcto. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Take care.